hello everyone today we are going to add sprinting into our game so here as you can see as i hold shift character sprints when i release shift character stops sprinting so now we have uh, sneaking or crouching like this and walking state and just regular running or jogging state and sprinting state so we have four different moment states moment modes so yeah we are going to add sprinting today and this works in uh, both unarmed and armed states so for arm this is walking this is sneaking or crouching and this is sprinting okay so let's see how to do this today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done and from the patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so also this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series i'm doing you can watch all other episodes as well for free in my channel i leave the link to the full playlist in the description and let's get back to today's tutorial all right so if i open my animation blueprint let me open it you can see the blend spaces I have used it's in here and in graph locomotion can run this is uh, sword and shield when the character equips sword and shield this animation blueprint uh, this blend space will be used otherwise this so here let me open the first blend space and here you can see it has uh, this is idle and walking and running so now I need to implement sprinting so but I don't have a sprint animation for this unarmed state so let's just create one let me duplicate this sprint forward and then to make it uh, look better we can simply modify this a little bit wait let's aspire. okay and from the spine also let's bend a little bit like this and let's add a keyframe so now this is sprinting compared to running it's like this we lean forward a little bit more when we sprint okay now let's open our blend space so here as you can see we have until 500 so i'll make it 750 and then where is the sprint I put it here so this is even though I have modified the animation to lean forward a little bit footwork is still the same so I'll make the rate 1.5 now this looks a bit more cartoonish at here but if I have something like this maybe around around 600 it looks reasonable but I think I would at least need something like 650 for the to have a significant difference between running or jogging and sprinting yeah it looks fine this way all right now um, let's go to our blueprint and here I have used 700 as the sprint in speed but as I said maybe I don't want to push that far because the animation looks bad so I'll use I'll stick to 650 so this is when I set the moment mode 
and the next thing is I need an input for the printing so here put a good action I a print oh we don't need to do anything here let's go here and add sprint so I'm gonna use left shift as the sprint in input okay now here I a sprint so sprinting I don't want it to be a toggle I want it to be as long as I hold left shift character should sprint once released character should stop sprinting so let me duplicate the same code same as for toggle crouch and start it and which one cancelled I'm not sure let's see so when it is uh, crouching if I press a sprint we should go to sprint mode and even if we are if we are working we should go to sprint running also needs to go to sprint but if we are sprinting we should go back to running all right now let's see press shift see characters is printing if I release it didn't return to working uh, return to running so it's not cancelled maybe completed Yeah, hold, sprinting, release, not sprinting, hold, sprinting, release, not sprinting. Okay, so it's basically working. And as for armed state here for this one, it's also have uh, has 500 as the maximum so this also i'll make it 750 oh uh, well now that i know i'm gonna i'm only going to have one tail oh no, no so here this is the animation so then shield run sprint well let me use the same animation which is print forward put it here and set the rate of scale to 1.5 it looks ridiculous but we are not going to push that far only 650 so it should look fine all right now let's see Okay, this is with uh, with unarmed uh, state now all right so yeah maybe we should give some visual distinction for this as well so let's print forward what can we do it's already leaning pretty forward so maybe a little more let's try from the spine okay and let's try that So now you can see. Wait. No. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, wait. Ah, the key. Okay. This is lean. This is the other one. Alright, and now it should be clear enough, see? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now let's see again. Equip. Alright, press shift. Bends a little more forward. Okay, so now we have crouching or sneaking and uh, just normal jogging and walking and sprinting. So we have three states and all of them are working with the unarmed state as well. Crouching or sneaking and walking and running and sprinting. Alright, so now we have three states. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next time, let's see how to replicate these four different movement states in a multiplayer game. For now, it only works in a single player game. I haven't thought about replication part. Also, I need to bind the sprinting perhaps with the stamina system. So that is also something we need to design later on. So yeah, thanks for watching. Updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.